Susan Black Allen. I have a history of depression, but this piece is not so much about me as it is about someone I care about. It's called Your Story. You have 50 cents in your bank account and visit food pantries, while I sip a latte at Starbucks and glance at my gold watch, wondering when Mary Maids will be done. But every week for 50 minutes, we are together. My office, your stories, stripped raw of circumstance, of formalities. You tell me about your alcoholic parents and money begged from strangers when you were 10 that ended up buying booze and not food. You tell me about the uncle who molested you and your cousins. Your parents buying their parents' secrecy. How you cried when they moved out. You tell me about sniffing glue and how, if the lights weren't on after school, it meant your mother had passed out. At 65, you are still afraid of the dark. You tell me about no heat, no electricity, how you saved your money to replace the record your father smashed in a rage, hoping that your mother would listen to their favorite song again. You tell me about selling drugs and how you tried not to sell them to other kids, but if you didn't, they'd just buy them from someone else. You tell me about wanting to become an architect, how you were good at math, how a friend leaves you in the street after overdosing, you overhear a doctor say, this one here, he's gone. You tell me about the teachers, the probation officers, the social workers, the detox counselors, all of whom tried to save you, when ultimately what saves you is a chance meeting with a man with blue eyes in a bar. It is for blue eyes that you get and stay clean for 35 years. He holds you in the dark and you hold him back. You cook together, you have cats. Together you struggle, but your math pays the bills. Then blue eyes get sick, a heart big enough to hold the world your world, but not strong enough to never break. And now you are in my office, thick with grief. You have relapsed. You tell me you are not ready to die, but you have just hit a parked car while high. You are desperate and need my help. I pray to blue eyes that my green eyes are enough. For this beautiful, broken man, I hope that I am enough. Thank you.